So uh, Cory Booker was on um, uh, Rachel Maddow's show last night trying to, well, I don't know what, dig himself out of this hole. And I actually welcome this controversy about uh, Booker because, one, it keeps Bain in the news. And I would like to see President Obama go further. Yesterday he addressed it and did so in a fairly cautious way. But, um, you know, he made a point that, like, you know, Mitt Romney says this uh, makes him, you know, maximizing profits for his corporation make him a good um, candidate for president. But, you know, as president, you also have to worry about the people who are losing their jobs. And does it go far enough for me? No. Would I have appreciated President Obama to say, at the very least, uh, the part of Bain Capital that goes in and strips out and extracts money from these perfectly functioning companies is really one of the biggest problems we have with capitalism today. That the incentives are misaligned. That CEOs and board of directors of uh, too many of our corporations see the company itself as simply a financial tool to enrich their own personal portfolios. They have stock options in the company. That's how they get their compensation. If they can cut costs by increasing productivity, by firing a bunch of employees that may hurt the corporation down the road, but still increase the value of their stock holdings, they'll do it. They have misaligned interests to their own corporations. And much of the financial world has <clears throat> misaligned interests relative to what benefits society. You know, the whole thing we were sold on the finance world is that this is a way of allocating resources efficiently. And this is a way of providing liquidity for people who need uh, liquidity. And this is a way of providing uh, resources for people to build businesses. Well, that's all well and good, but I think it's quite clear now that uh, finance, too much of finance, too much of commodities trading is simply done out of speculation, simply done out of as an ends rather than a means, without any societal benefit whatsoever. It would have been nice to hear President Obama say that. That will not happen, ever. I don't think he believes it. And if he does, he'll certainly never say it. I don't think he does. But the benefit of this is not only to continue to talk about uh, Bain, but it's also a benefit to people who don't really pay too much attention to politics and don't understand that Cory Booker may be a hero in some respects, like literally because he goes into like burning houses or shovels walks for people. But he's also part of the Democratic Party that is incredibly corporatist and to own by the finance industry. Ed Rendell has come out in support of him. I think I said yesterday, um, Ford, former uh, senator from Tennessee, former uh, board of director of Morgan Stanley, of uh, Goldman. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if, I honestly don't know if there's a single in, uh, banking uh, institution that Harold Ford hasn't worked for in some capacity or another. And I uh, think progress comes out that uh, Wall Street has been a huge backer of Booker's campaign. In 2006, the founder of the hedge fund, Maverick Capital, former protege of Tiger Management, maxed out uh, the managing partner of Ziff Brothers, maxed out in their donations to Booker. Bloomberg has chronicled in 2010 how Booker worked to raise as much as $240 million from Wall Street and other American financial services hubs to invest in urban renewal in the city of Newark. Serves on the board of advisors of the Advocation, Education Advocacy Organization, Democrats for Education Reform, 
which basically takes public money and puts it into private schools. He received uh, $560,000 in campaign contributions from Bain Capital and others in the finance industry for his race in 2002. He is... um, He is, you know, uh, part and parcel of that. So uh, just note that because when he runs for governor of New Jersey, when he tries to run for presidency in, I don't know, 2020, 2024, just keep in mind who this guy is. That's all. He may be good for the city of Newark. I don't know how much he's been able to achieve there. He was probably better than that guy Sharp, who was more or less a crook. It was a great documentary. Uh, but make no mistake about who Cooey Bo- But Bo- he'll Bo- shovel everybody's walkways when it snows. Yes, indeed. 